Please stand quietly to pledge the fat flag. I know you can do that quietly. I pledge allegiance. America the Beautiful. done. Please sit quietly. And, and next on our program is Adelita. Adelita will lead you in our hello song that you learned in the music room with Miss B. Who can tell Mrs. Shuler what it means to be a good audience? First grader knows the rule. national anthem. He'll be accompanied by Mrs. Schuller.
Next part of our show is the International Fashion Show, where children have dressed from many different countries, I think more than 16 countries, and Mrs. Gross will be our narrator. Now, since we have a little bit of time, because I don't think they're quite ready, um, I would like to go over the school theme. It's Peace Through Understanding. And that is the theme of Paul Fly School because it's a multicultural school. I also would like to say I'm very proud of the students in this school because you have learned to be a peacemaker. And if you can spell up here in front of us today on either side of the stage are the letters that spell the word peace. And on the other side, maker. Would this half of the school say the word peace? Peace. Would you answer? Maker. How can you be a peacemaker? Well, it's very, very simple. Let's see, one, one right here, the first hand I saw, yeah. Um, because you don't tell them the teachers taught and, and, and the, the teacher um, listen what you taught. Sounds like you're kind to teachers. How about another kind act? I saw many in the music room over the past month. In fact, the children did just these tiny things of kindness. Do you remember one? Um, to, um, be nice to the music teacher. <laughs> that wasn't one of the awards, but that's nice. And I appreciate all the good students at Paul Fly. One last one. Bookshelf. Exactly, you're a helper. Now I saw people being kind when we were learning dancing, no matter who their partner was. I saw people being kind, sharing their personal space, which can be a problem for children. So I think you're well on the road to peace. You don't have to be as famous as Dr. Martin Luther King or Mother Teresa or Gandhi, because peace starts right here when you're very little. And I see it happening all the time at Paul Fly. Mrs. Gross? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Gross. We're here to celebrate you today. Everybody that comes from a different country. And that's what the United Nations is all about. It's about you. It's about people getting together and saying, we want to be free. We want to have freedom for everybody. We want to decide what's best for us. And that's why in your classrooms with your teachers, you have a right to say what you believe in and everybody decides for the classroom what you're going to do. Well, in 1950, the United Nations was started and there were only about 50 countries then. And now there's over 160 and today, we're going to celebrate some wonderful fashions from the countries that you might be from. So let's start with one of the largest continents, Africa. There are more than 50 independent countries in Africa and on the islands of its coast. Many of the world's essential minerals, including copper, gold, and uranium, are found in Africa. It's a home to lots of different animals, too. Everything from gorillas to lemurs. Africa, thank you. Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a South Asian nation. It was once part of Pakistan, but it became independent in 1971. Almost half of the people that live in Pakistan live in Bangladesh. Thank you. You don't have to go very far to go to this country. It's, excuse me, Cambodia. 
I'm sorry, Mrs. Gross thought it was going to be something else. <laughs> Cambodia is a country that can be found across the Atlantic Ocean in the continent of Asia. Cambodia. Canada, there you are. Canada is the second largest country in the world. Only the Soviet Union is larger, and Canada can be found right straight north of the United States of America. Canada, thank you. China. China is the third largest country in the world. It has a population of over a billion people. That's a lot. Many people in China follow the Buddhist religion and it's three and a half million square miles. And you know about million because David Schwartz was here last year. Thank you, China. <laughs> Dominican Republic. This is a Spanish-speaking country in the West Indies. It's the eastern part of the same island east of Cuba that contains Haiti, Dominican Republic. Thank you. England. England is the largest and most populated country of the United Kingdom and of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. It has its own language, and many of us speak it right here in Paul Fly. It's called English, and the capital of England is London. Thank you. I hear Germany. Germany is located between France and Russia. The capital is Berlin. Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms are all composers who come from Germany. Germany, thank you. <laughs> Hungary. Hungary's capital is Budapest, and it is in East Central Europe. Hungary, thank you. India, the second most populated country in the world after China. Lots of languages are spoken here, but Hindi and English are its official languages. Its capital is New Delhi. Thank you, India. Ireland. Ireland is located across the Irish Sea from Great Britain. 96% of the population are Roman Catholic. The capital city is Dublin, and do you know what their favorite color is? What do you think? Green. Oh, that's great. That's exactly right. Ireland, thank you. In the news today, something really important happened in Israel today. We're hoping for great things coming from there. It was established in 1948 as a homeland for the Jewish people. It's on the eastern edge of the Mediterranean Sea. And the population in Israel is about 5 million people. Israel, thank you. is Rome. It is the center of the ancient Roman civilization and a lot of great artists come from there. You'll have to ask Mrs. Oakley who they are. It's a country in southeastern Europe and if you look on a map, it looks just like a boot jutting out into the sea. Italy.
Korea. Korea is divided into two countries, communist North Korea and non-communist South Korea. Korea is a mountainous peninsula which, where the staple food of Korea is rice, and they eat it most meals. How many people like rice? Okay, hands down. Thank you, Korea, for those beautiful costumes. Just like everybody else. Buenos Dios. Mexico is the United States southern on the border. Geolog geologically, it's located in the ring of fire, so they have a lot of active volcanoes. The capital of Mexico is Mexico City. Thank you. <laughs> Norway. Norway is a Scandinavian country in Northern Europe. It's west of Sweden. It's known for its fjords. Fjords are like little inlets in the sea. And the capital is Oslo, Norway. Thank you. Pakistan. Pakistan is one of the world's major Islamic nations. It's a neighbor to India, and it's in Southern Asia. Urdu is the national language. Pakistan, thank you. Poland. Poland's capital is Warsaw. It's a country in Central Europe. It's just between Germany on the west and the Soviet Union on the east. Poland, thank you. Puerto Rico. It's a Caribbean island. It has a close association with the United States. In 1952, a new constitution made Puerto Rico an autonomous part of the United States. Its culture retains a distinctive Latin flavor. Puerto Rico, thank you. Russia. Russia's been an independent nation since the United Union of the Soviet 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 Republic dissolved in 1991. It's six and a half million square miles, and Russia, even there's only two people up here, is the largest country in the world. Russia, thank you. El Salvador. El Salvador is a country that can be found south of the United States, around South America. El Salvador, thank you. Sweden. Sweden, it's found across the Atlantic Ocean, and I bet you know a lot of things about Sweden. Thank you. Switzerland. Switzerland is a small country in Central Europe that lies in the Alps. The most populated city in Switzerland is Zurich. Now Zurich's known for its neutrality. That means it's neutral. It doesn't like to take sides with anybody. So if you were having a disagreement with somebody, you wouldn't want to go to Switzerland because they would think both sides of the parties were very concerned and that they were correct. Switzerland, thank you. <laughs> Who do you think this is? <laughs> United States of America. Its capital is in Washington, D.C. Its population is about 250 million people. It's often called the melting pot because so many people from all over have come here. And there's a fabulous school in the United States of America. And it's right in Norristown. And it had this great principal 
called Dr. Carfagno, and it's called what? Thank you for being such a great audience. And thank you, United States of America. rap music. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Nobody likes rap music here. Okay. What I'm going to try and do today, boys and girls, is I'm going to try and get a couple of children up here with me out of each grade today. Obviously, you can't all fit up here, so I'm sorry. I would have you all come up here if I could. So there will be, I'm going to allow the teachers today to pick the children, and, and I'll let you know what grades they are. Now, wait a minute. For this rap tune, this hello song, and everybody's going to get a chance to dance with this, but let me tell you what the rules are first. One, two, three, sit. Whenever you hear that, because see, the kind of music that I do gets everybody excited. And so whenever you hear one, two, three, sit, that's exactly what you do. Okay, good for you. Okay, that's the one rule. The second rule is you have to have a really good time and keep a smile on your face. The third one is you have to participate. And the fourth one is when we're standing up and we're dancing, Please stay in one spot. Do not move out of that position. You can dance right where you are, because otherwise you might hurt someone. Does everybody understand all those rules? Okay. Do I need to repeat them? No. Good. Good. You're good listeners. All right. So we're going to do a rap tune, and of course we need to dance to that. And I need 
two kinder, how many kindergartners are there? I mean classes? How many? Two? May I have one from one kindergarten class and one from the other? Pick a girl and, and then a boy, your, boy from yours and a girl from whoever the other one is. Girl from the other one. Okay, and then from the third grade. I need a third grade up here. Do we have two classes of third grade as well? How many third graders? Three? May I have one from each? Just mix them up, a boy or girl, whoever you think will actually come up here and participate, okay? And then the other grade is second grade, okay? Second grade. May I have one? May I have one from each to come up? Please pick children who, who aren't going to be too nervous, who think they can come up and participate in this. Okay, hi, come on up, sweetie. Come on up. All right, some of you can stay down here on the floor with me, and then some of you can be responsible for going up on stage. Where would you like to go? Would you like to go up there or stay down here with Miss D? Let's go up here. Come on, let's go up. Let's go up. Oh, I forgot the fifth roll. I forgot the fifth roll. One, two, three, sip. When your friends come up, since today is Peacemaker Day, how can we make peace when they come up here? By laughing at them? No. no. By smiling and making them feel comfortable and give them lots of confidence. Okay? All right. Well, this is a rap tune, and it's two. It's, we're gonna say hello in different languages. Can we all spread, up, spread out? Now, I have a hard time with this rap thing, so that's why I called you guys up to help me. Let's stand on the line right here, and that'll be helpful. Do you guys know how to go like this? You probably do it better than I do. So we're gonna, each language that I teach you and say hello to, we're gonna be standing up doing that, okay? So we go, hello, 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 okay? So, as soon as the music starts, I want you to stand up nicely. Come on, let's stand up nicely. Oh, 